Lying between Kwajalein Island and Ebai Island on the East Reef of the Kwajalein Atoll are the islands of Warpape and of Jadrick. Prior to the invasion of Kwajalein Atoll during Operation Flintlock, which was the assault by U.S. forces in late January 1944, each of the islands within the atoll were given code names for the operation. Warpape was given the code name of Byron, and Abjadric was given the code name of Buster. Over the years following the invasion, the islands came to be called Big Bustard and Little Bustard. West of Warpape Island are wrecks known as the Little Bustard LCM, the Little Bustard Duo, and the Little Bustard LCC. The closest wreck to Warpape Island is the Little Bustard LCM. LCM stands for Landing Craft Mechanized. LCMs first came into prominent use during World War II when they were widely used in Allied amphibious operations. They were designed to carry tanks, trucks, jeeps, and other types of vehicles, and they frequently carried cargo and troops as well. LCMs would transport their loads from larger ships to shore, or from one shore point to another shore point. The LCM off Warpape Island is a World War II era LCM-3. The design proved so popular that improved versions are still in use today. 150 feet southwest of the LCM are a pair of wrecks known as the Little Buster Duo. At first glance, these wrecks give the impression of being one vessel that broke in half, but on closer inspection, it becomes obvious that these are two separate wrecks. The origins of these vessels are unknown. Although they are believed to be American-made, they were not a standard production model by any branch of the U.S. military. Kwajalein Island had a number of machine shops during and after World War II, and it is believed that these were a locally designed and built utility vessel. The small size of these vessels, blunt bows, and single prop on each indicate that these were probably used as small tugs, assisting larger vessels with operations such as docking, and perhaps for pushing barges to various islands around the atoll. Unfortunately, there are no surviving records for these vessels. A little over 500 feet to the northwest of the duo is the Little Bustard LCC. LCC stands for Landing Craft Control. These were small command and control vessels used in amphibious invasion operations. LCCs were 56 feet long, and carried a 14-man crew and radar, and usually three gun mounts with twin 50 caliber machine guns. In the early stage of an invasion operation, safe lanes would be established to allow access to the invasion beachhead by landing craft. Safe lanes were lanes which had been cleared of obstacles and mines. The job of the LCC was to lead the first two assault waves to the beach, and afterwards they were used as all-purpose command and control assets for the rest of the invasion operation. This diagram shows the layout of a LCC. Surprisingly, very little documentation has survived regarding these vessels. The remnants of the aft 50 caliber gun mount is clearly visible, along with discarded cabling and other debris. Moving forward towards the cockpit, the equipment that was mounted on this part of the LCC was stripped off before it was scuttled. The 50 caliber gun mounts on both sides are gone, as well as all the navigation and steering equipment. Past the cockpit, the forward deck is a mass of cabling and other discarded debris. The hatch leading to the radio room is open and allows for a diver to stick their arm in and pan a camera around. Remnants of equipment racks and other debris clutter the room, and divers must take care not to get the camera caught on debris and lost. The deterioration of the wreck, especially around the stern area, also provides the curious diver with plenty of openings to look inside. Although the wrecks off Warpape Island are not as well known or dived as other wrecks within the Kwajalein Lagoon, they are still worth a visit for divers who are interested in wrecks and history.